Hi, this is John. I'm here in Lumumbashi at a meeting on seed systems and staying at this beautiful hotel. Um, of course, it's funded by somebody else, thanks to USAID. But I uh, was just walking around the garden here, looking at everything, and I came across this and got so excited because this here is Desmodium incarnum. This is an ind indigenous uh, Desmodium that you find around the Central Africa parts here. I've seen it before in Uganda, but it's a very nice little legume. Got pretty little flowers and small pods like this, just like the other Desmodiums. But it's very widespread here. It's uh, all amongst these rocks. Uh, a lot of it actually. So these kind of things excite me when I come across uh, interesting things like this. Uh, when I'm traveling. So just one small little thing I thought I'd show you guys in this beautiful spot. Another interesting thing that I found here in Lumabashi is there's a lot of Lukina trees around. And here you can see one. They're really big here. There's another one over there. And a couple over there. It seems to be quite common. When we traveled out the other, yesterday to see uh, some seed production and maize, there was a lot on the side of the road. And here's a mulberry tree. So, yeah, it's. Um, I just wondered who planted these Lukina and why, but they are around here. There's a lady working in her field, producing vegetables. Yeah. In Lumubashi area. And this lady is packing up the vegetables for the market. Yeah. Very common vegetable in this area. The price here is uh, charcoal. This guy is taking it to the market on their bicycles, so loaded up nicely. This is Mashamba Estate. It's a large, very large uh, farm here in just outside of Lumabashi. I think they're growing upwards of 5,000 hectares of maize. Very nice setup. Uh, it's not that old. It's probably, uh, if it's 10 years old, I'd be surprised. It's more like uh, maybe a bit less than 10 years. Established by a South African company. Very big equipment, very well organized. And this maize that they produce here is mostly maize. I don't, I'm not sure if they're growing anything else other than maize. Might be a little bit of soybeans. And yeah, most of the maize I think goes into their own mill, which is just in town. A big milling company. And then they sell that to the customers. So they've got lovely equipment here, all John Deere sprayers and planters and so on. Uh, big stuff. They need to have big stuff because of the hectare that they're growing. One of the issues that they face here is the fire. You know we have a very dry winter here and the maize is of course dry and very prone to fire. Fire trucks that are on, on ready and big diesel bowsers take diesel into the field when they peak, peak operations. We have a big sprayer unit. There's a feedlot at Mashamba. 
It's a big setup. All these cattle come from Botswana. Three truckloads a week. They're fattened here and then slaughtered in their own abattoir and sold into the Lumumbashi market. It's their feed mill and feed processing plant up there. Amazing setup. This is a fish farming setup on the outskirts of Lumumbashi. Looks very well organized. It's got these big ponds. Not sure how it works and how it's laid out, but it looks very, very well managed. And this is where they sell the fish. Yeah, good morning, boss. Morning, how are you? Good morning, yeah, these look lovely. This is the tilapia that they just harvested. Sand market. See how they load up the trucks of sand right into a peak there. 